Get a Legends, Mick Duck here. Thanks for joining me on another adventure. Today we're doing a quick overnighter. We just literally decided um, at lunchtime we'd go for an overnighter. We're here in the Kringai National Park and surprise, surprise, the only real place you can camp overnight is at a secret spot called the Basin. So let's go check it out. So the walk in from the car parks only and from the main road is actually only about 3k so pretty easy but um hopefully gonna get it nice and early and we just kind of chill out with the campsite should be good It looks pretty cruisy. Um, we're just kind of heading downhill now. Um, as you can see, it's kind of paved. I'll give you a good close up, uh, but I guess that's for, because it's quite steep for uh, the RFS or Royal, Royal Fire Service to kind of get in and out if they need to. And I guess we're servicing the campground as well. So, But um, should be there pretty shortly. Stick around to the end where I give you my thoughts on the campground and the whole experience overall. definitely tell we're still definitely in Sydney. You can see here it's pretty busy but there's heaps of campsites. A lot of people do come in on the ferry across from Palm Beach but you know I recommend that you do walk in, it's way better. filter, eclipse haze, 6.3% uh, alcohol, so that should do the job and uh, there's a little setup for the night. Well, good morning, had a pretty good sleep. Uh, decided to go for a bit of a fish, have a little look around at the basin. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty great a little adventure. Just all packed up, about to head up the hill now, back up to the car. Gotta get up this hill here, all the way back to the car. Three Ks, let's do it. couple of thoughts on the camp here it's pretty busy um, people can arrive by walking not many people do uh, most people arrive by the ferry and they bring in huge amounts of stuff so it's pretty busy so don't expect anything quiet but um it's a great little overnighter so definitely recommend it so at the campground itself there's heaps of facilities so there's toilets there's showers um, there's <laughs> vending machines you can buy an ice cream if you want um, coffee vending machine as well so it's pretty well set up uh, the rangers are there all day and they can answer all your questions and they all also do sell ice, so if you want to bring a little esky, even if you're hiking in, I'd say it's definitely worth it to keep a couple of beers fresh and cold, but um, that's what we did. We bought some ice, it was great. And yeah, plenty of good facilities. But next time I reckon I might take an inflatable donut to um, just float around in the basin. It's so nice there. Um, recommend it if you're coming in. So 
one thing that's happened on this adventure is Lauren's found not only one kookaburra feather, but two. I've been searching for ages to get a kookaburra feather for my kookaburra, um, but Lauren's found two. Check out these two. Hopefully, if I'm really nice, she might give me one to put in my cap too. So I'm not going to show the Aboriginal carvings, you'll have to come out here to see them for yourselves. Well I hope you've enjoyed this adventure, it's been pretty great, super easy walk here down to um, Kringai National Park down to the basin, great little fun little overnight, pretty busy down there as usual but it's Sydney so pretty good. If you liked the video give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.